Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Nino Kuni 2, the return to Ding Dong Dell. How's everybody doing today? We're the K-Wings, husband and wife team, and uh, we're still playing this awesome anime game. Yay! So it's taken us 30-something uh, episodes, but we finally made it back to the kingdom where we were betrayed. Yes. It, it looks, uh, it, it a just different. feels ominous, even the music. It's powerful. It's just it's like an ominous, yeah. powerful like vibe to it. Evan yeah. makes me feel at at peace with everything though, because even though everything is crazy around him, he's just wide eyed and bushy tailed all the time. He's it's not getting to him, you know. This is where Nello was gone and everything, but he's just like he's not sobbing in a corner like me. He's just like everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> well, the dark cloud over the kingdom more or less is gone, but it's still heavily enforced with lots of guards and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, the um the shift between the mice and the cats really man, it really I don't know what, it really makes me think. It, it makes you think about what it was like for the mice before and it makes you think about what it's like for the cats now and makes you wonder who was in the right or wrong. I don't even know cuz you don't know much about Evan's dad, so you don't really know if they were just being jerks and they, you know, or they were really mistreated. I don't know. Okay, so we can't get closer to the castle. Got to stay in the castle town, and we need to make it down to the slums area. That's what our goal is today. Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping we can make a kingdom where, or where Evan can influence this kingdom where mice and cats are treated equally. I'm hoping that could be possible, but I don't know. I have a feeling that <sighs> most of the Grimalkin, once they figure out who he is, they'll come to Evermore. Evermore will be the new. Not necessarily cat kingdom, but it'll be a kingdom that has all people in it. Mm. Because you're noticing that we're getting residents from Hydropolis, Goldpaw, Ding Dong Dell, uh, Broadleaf. They all come to this new kingdom to have a new start. Yep. Mm, a very peaceful start. It's it's very sweet, but at the same time, you know, probably gonna have to go to war with Ding Dong Dell, mm -hmm. which is gonna change up the story quite a bit. So, this is kind of the sewers where Nella bought it, yeah. but also it leads to the uh, place where the Grimalkin are. They're like colonists in a new world. Kind of, yeah. Like America. <laughs> a long time ago. Roland, I don't think you need the hood anymore, man. It just, it's creeping me out. I know. The... Also, it totally doesn't match his outfit, which is what's really bothering me. <laughs> You know what he looks like? Um, well, his hood is green, so I don't know. He looks like Robin Hood, kind of. I thought Robin Hood, yeah, Robin Hood wore green. Yeah, I wish that he had, like, maybe a green cape to go with that mask. Yes, that would look way better if it had a cape with it. Yeah. It kind of looks like it's a weird cosplay unfinished outfit. I think that he <laughs> took one of the girl's scarves and used it as a mask. Oh, well, it's better than nothing. Yeah. I think that's actually Tawny's cape. Because mm. she had a green cape, kind of. Alright, these enemies are no match for us. Poor Kiwing, you're so tired. I'm fine. The weather gets to Kiwing a lot, so it's been really weird. She messes with my voice. Well, it's been hot and then cold and hot and cold. I looked at the, uh... Weather last night before I went to bed, it said it was going to be 45 to 50 degrees out. Nope, it's not 45 to 50 degrees out. It's really hot out today. Well, then we got to run the AC then. But yep. it, it'll take a while for the AC to work. That's yep. the problem. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Maybe we can get a new Higglity. I think it did say that last night. <gasps> Wait, has Tani had that outfit before? I guess I didn't, I didn't nope, notice it. we changed it. her outfit. We're going to be changing it's Evan cute. and... Uh, the other guy, it Neander's looks, outfit, It too. looks kind of like a modern outfit, like somebody would wear today, because she has little pink leggings, and then she's got, like, a just, like, a, you know, modern-type dress on. It's cute. It's, it's a citizen dress, basically. She has a couple more outfits, although, like I said, some of them you can't get into the post-game, like her queen robes. She's the only girl that has something called Queen's Robes. Oh. So they're foreshadowing <laughs> that uh, she's going to end up with Evan. Yep. There's also a... I could talk about this. It's, it's a little spoilery, but basically in a couple months, and by a couple months I probably mean by the fall, 
There's going to be a new DLC story for this game, and it's going to take place after the events of the game involving, I believe, who Evan ends up with, but that's just kind of a small part of the story, because you'll be playing as Evan's son. Oh, wow. Well, I, I kind of wondered if we were going to have to choose who Evan ends up with or something like no. that. No. Okay. It's not one of those games. I originally thought that, but no. Yeah, because there are some other girls in the town that are, like, young and stuff like that. Yeah, like Mural, and it's not a dating sim. They would have had to put a lot of work into it to do that. I mean, the castle building and, like, working with your citizens is already pretty beefy enough that there's no way they could have thrown in, like, a, a dating sim. Yeah, it would break the uh, game system. <laughs> I don't know. It'd yeah, be it, weird. it would be a really big game and really. Oh, it's already a really big game. The fact that they're adding DLC to this game when the post content alone is enough to have you playing this game for like another month or two, that's incredible. You know? But Namco, they like to add story like DLC, just like that additional DLC for uh, Sword Art Online. We should be looking at Fatal Bullet again probably by July. I think, for the uh, DLC story, which would be about, like, four hours, five hours, something like that. Yeah. And then, uh, eventually, the new DLC for, uh, Rabbit's Kingdom is supposed to come out. But I have no idea what Ubisoft is doing. It might not come out till the fall now, I don't know. And I don't know if we're looking at Tropical Freeze again. Um, I haven't decided yet. Because, you know, we can't just ask Nintendo for a copy and be like, Hey! I mean, you could probably reach out to... It'd be fun to go over their heads and go after the second-party developer who makes the game, Retro Studios. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. I'll talk to Tony about it. Huh? What's this? Looks like one of oh. his ancestors. Uh, I think it must be the statue of one of my ancestors, what Luke said. What? Breaking the fourth wall, are we? <laughs> These braziers, something tells me they're important. Important. Why don't we try to light them? I don't know why I couldn't say that word. Can we just call them torches? Hey! You remember the Kindle spell I taught you back at the factory, right? For these braziers? I mean, torches? Like Luke said? Hmm. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna light these torches. Number 15 is carved into the base of the brazier. Cast Kindle on it? 15. I think that has to do with time. 15 seconds. Oh. I did this puzzle a long time ago. Man, Roland looks weird. He kind of looks like he's an assassin and gonna kill somebody. Yeah, kind of. Oh. So, the braziers really were important. I think... I think that I think the numbers carved into them must relate to how long they stay it for. So we better try and light them all before the time runs out. Huh. Nice. Whoever came up with this was quite the trickster. Could almost have been Zip himself. Hmm. Or you reckon? Brick's not a tricks. Uh, Bracken's not a trick. The trickster. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That. It's time Words. To, time to wake <clears throat> up, Kiwing. It takes me a while. Okay, so let's save here so we don't have to do that again. You know what Shadow's secret is? What Shadow's secret? You know what Shadow's secret is? It's that she's always yeah. sleepy. <laughs> 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 she gets a lot of attention this one. I know. <laughs> Alright, there's really no reason to fight these guys, but they're in the way of that torch, so they gotta go. It, I was thinking that she got more attention because I always put her on Instagram, but in reality, she would get more attention no matter what, whether we had a channel or not. We'd always be petting her. Ugh, I'd probably have more time to pet her if I... Well, no. If I had to work out of the house, then I probably wouldn't have as much time to pet her. <laughs> Kawaii. Right! Best find them the two thingies. Okay, now I remember that I'm not supposed... To... Oh... Oh man, this looks so familiar. It's like we were here before or something. Yeah, it's the dun- uh, it's uh, the place where we were running from. The very beginning of the game. It's it's essentially another one of those um, sewer places. The only difference is there's not really a lot of water here. Yep. Well, I actually woke up today and my head felt really wonky. But- <laughs> Wonky's becoming our word, isn't it? <laughs> 
There. There's a, uh, yes, Ryoko finds that funny. <laughs> yep. Wonky. And I think it's because I had, I think it's because I had caffeine yesterday. Mm. And I shouldn't have. And then also the change in the weather. But yeah, I just felt do weird. Something. I am doing something. Trying to do something. So I'm gonna do something awesome. So just what? K Wing, you're gonna hate me, but I may have to get a coffee pot for the house so that I don't have to keep getting coffee to stay awake. That's fine. Coffee's bad for you though. I know it is. It's one of the worst things for me. I've been coffee free for many, many years. I just when I really need to wake up, it's like, how do I wake up? Oh, you can't have it anyway. Mm -mm. I shouldn't. Okay. I don't think so. I'm supposed to either. I'm just trying to think out loud here. I think what we need to do is light the torches. Either these torches are supposed to be lit, because this door is open by torches, I know that. So... Let's see... No, that's... I just want to... Oh! I see a chest. Oop. Oh no, Roland. Roland looks so weird. He needs a green outfit with that. Nope. They should have given him the entire coat of green. I'm telling you that he's wearing one of the girls' like yeah. uh, garments. As, that's why yeah. the girls were the one that it's... brought up stuff about like, oh, this is the best we could come up oh, with. Oh last... yeah, it's story accurate. But if he was going to be evil, I think it would have been cool if he uh, <gasps> done this from the previous arc. Yes, he would have looked so cool in, with that, and then he could have kept it. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Eh. I don't understand how we found a new coat for Evan, though. That's what I don't understand. Like a new disguise. I don't know. Coat. Eh, maybe if Evan is smaller, so it's easier to come up with a fabric for him. Maybe they brought it from Evermore. I don't know. Yeah. They don't really explain it. It's just there. One minute it's there, and ooh, we got some new boots. Cool. I wish I could aim and blast these guys from over here, because in dungeon rules... When it applies, um, you know, should be using his sword or have his gun out or something. It'd be kind of cool. Man, your voice is deep when you first wake up. Mm. My vocal cords are expanding when I wake up. It takes a while. Okay, so... That... There was no other torches. What? Maybe I was supposed to... Hmm. Let's try lighting this again. And then we're gonna go back. Maybe I. But I'm still trying to figure out why they had that thing there for me to teleport. Mm. Maybe this is supposed to be reversed, but I'm just gonna see something. Oh, that's, I am not exactly sure what we're supposed to be doing anymore. Anyway. We have to light the torches to open the doors. Something. Well, you know what I know? Got, ah, what I got at the store came in? I got more sour cream, and I got more hamburgers so we can make more taco salad. So I'm really happy about that. Mm. That's the most exciting thing I have to talk about today. That's fine. I think this is supposed to be reversed. I think this is the one that's lit first. Okay. Because like I said, I did this, but I don't remember. Because I'm playing so many other games right now. We just finished uh, Power Ranger Samurai uh, a little while ago. And I'm thinking about the next Power Rangers game because I don't actually have any way of... Uh, playing the retro stuff yet. I'm gonna need to oh. modify uh, the Super Nintendo emulator again so we can put the Genesis game on there. Oh, wow. Yeah, because we don't have we don't have two controllers for emulation. The only emulator we have now, technically, is the Super Nintendo or the NES one. And I'd feel more comfortable playing that Power Rangers movie game on the Genesis because you can have people play as the original red, yellow, and black ranger. Uh, oh, as right. opposed to the Super Nintendo game where you just play as Rocky, Adam, and Aisha using basically Jason, Trini, and Zack like character swaps. Like okay. you could tell it's their characters. So we're gonna use this is what we're supposed to use. So we use this uh, quick travel thing. We go back here, and then this torch is the last one that gets lit, and this should open the door. I think that's what it was just a reversal. Yep. There you go. That's what was supposed to be done. Ta-da! See, it's coming back to me. But it, it's hard for me, guys and gals, when I'm playing so many different games <laughs> and working on other projects for me to remember, especially when I've had to play ahead on a certain game. 
it takes a while for my brain to connect and remember things. Yep, also when I just wake gaming up and I'm like, Luke, we have to record! Luke's like, ah, I was up editing all night. No, I really was tonight. I was working on the next game. Oh, okay. Because we only have... I want to get this done before Adventure Time comes out. Adventure Time comes out next week. So... Cool. Yeah, Adventure Time Switch. Then you have that... I'm still debating whether or not we're going to do that Naruto collection on Switch. Yeah. Because I... I mean... Kabro taught me how to play it, but I haven't played a Naruto game in a year and a half. So since I've been playing things like Dragon Ball Fighters oh. and other fighting games, I've completely forgotten how to play Naruto. Like, wow. it, it would be bad to watch. Yeah, well, I actually... I thought... I was like, oh, how can watch I help... You know, like with the games that we're doing, I thought, oh, I can grind in um, Lego uh, superheroes. But then I was thinking, oh my gosh, we already finished that one, so. We didn't necessarily finish Lego Marvel Superheroes 2. What happened was uh, we ran into a bunch of glitches that we can't, we can't complete those gold quests because the game will like brick itself. Oh, the gold quests. Yeah, yeah but we I did like I talked all to the, Pack about that. We did all the characters, and we unlocked all the. Well, we unlocked there's, all the characters we could. There's new DLC coming out for uh, Marvel's Infinity War. I don't know when it releases though, and the game is not technically done because there's going to be Ant Man, mm -hmm. and there's going to be other uh, DLC. Yeah, I think Agents of Shield or something. I don't know. Well. I was wondering, do you have any idea is Black Panther gonna be in Infinity Infinity War in the movie or Yep, he's in it. Wow. So they're putting like every Marvel character in it. There's uh according to stuff that's released for it, so far there are uh, four or five main locations in the movie. The beginning of the movie takes place on Thor's ship with the Asgardians and Thanos invading it like Darth Vader does at the beginning of New Hope, whatever. There's a battle between Loki and Thor and Hulk. Then the next scene, I believe, takes place in New York City, uh, with oh, wow. like a character warning people that Thanos is coming. Because how else would they know that Thanos is coming if, you know? Yeah, unless somebody told them. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, then, how would they prepare? And then there has to be a battle of New York or something, and then it'll probably the final. Uh, stage in the movie would be Wakanda. Yeah, and we don't we have not seen any leaks of the movie. We're just saying it based no, off No, and of, we're we're DC fans. Yeah, so I mean, we're just you know, we're it based just based off stuff we heard and Yeah. Probably the comics and stuff follow that storyline too. So. Oh, it's going to be a lot different than the comics. Oh, okay. Because just like the death of Superman involved uh, actually, the Justice League fighting Doomsday. Whenever you see a death of Superman movie, the Justice League's not really involved. Whereas, you know, the Death of Superman arc in the comics actually took a full year. And then you had the Reign of the Supermen, which was almost two years of comic books. Yeah. I know that because my grandpa got me, like, all those comics when... I never understood why he did Superman. I think it's because deep down he liked Superman. Yeah. Because I didn't like Superman as a kid, especially... I mean, yes, it's awesome that I have several copies of The Death of Superman in mint condition. <laughs> but And The Return of Superman, but I wasn't a Superman fan, so it's just kind of like, uh, well, okay. maybe he... I don't know. Did you hear that? Sounds like someone needs our help. We have to get this door open. Another Switch puzzle. <sighs> hmm, great. More torches. Braziers! I'm not calling them that, they're torches. <gasps> you light them, they light up, they're torches. We have to find those other brazier I mean torches! Torches! Tortures! <laughs> torches! I did try to ask him, like, over the years, uh, why oh. it was Superman books, and... Uh, even when I was asking him ten years ago, he couldn't remember. He I was... think it's because Superman is the first, uh... First comic of DC Comics, right? The I'm first... pretty sure that Superman was his favorite character. I mean, he probably grew up knowing about Superman. Or I not don't... really. I mean, he remembered Superman was like vital to the war efforts, and you know, he was around. He just, I don't know, something about Batman didn't click for him, which is fine. It's hard to find a grandparent that likes Batman because Batman's so dark and moody. So I remember my grandma when I watched. Uh, when I go to her house, and I was 
I only had time to watch one show, as I've told you before, and I would watch Batman the Animated Series because it was the most exciting thing on. Mm -hmm. And she would say, wouldn't you like to watch something else? Like, she wanted me to watch My Little Ponies or something. I was like, nah, that's not really very interesting, Grandma. <laughs> like, <laughs> And she said, you have to be careful. And she actually said, you know, you shouldn't watch scary things. And I was like, but it's not the... She thought it was scary, but it's like, it wasn't really scary. It's just... I think He's the reason why Grandma taped all the animated series for me... I mean, she didn't have a problem with Batman, and she basically... She would tape whatever the grandkids asked her. She would... She didn't like Sailor Moon, but she taped it for my sister. Um, and mostly it was done to make us feel more at home, because my dad had a job where we had to move a lot. So, I mean, you know, it gave us something to look forward to, I guess, every month, to get, like, this big box with all these VHS tapes and you'd watch it over the course of, you know, when you get home from school or whatever and mm -hmm. uh, it was nice because it was like something that you were still in contact with your grandma and she'd call and ask you um, what you would like her to, to tape because... Wait, so she sent you a big box of VHS tapes every month or...? Well, I mean, it wasn't a big box. It would probably be like, uh, back then, probably the size of like a, um... A like, box that you would put, like, maybe... Like a, a shoebox? No, Ready not a shoebox. VHS tapes are bigger than shoeboxes. Hmm. I'm trying to think about what the size of the box would be. Like be. regular Amazon shipping box that you just... Smaller than that. Okay. <laughs> like, because this was bef way before Amazon. Well, I, I mean, a shoebox is, like, this big. No, shoebox... VHS tapes are big and bulky, though. They wouldn't fit in a shoebox. Right. Well, it wasn't too big of a box. No. Then. Wasn't wasn't a massive. It would be about the size of a box you could put a cat in. Yeah, <laughs> It'd be about that. It'd have enough to fit like eight tapes in it, and like uh, there wasn't really a letter because she would call like so many times. So oh, so she would just send it in yeah. and see, and then call and see yep. if you got it. Yep, and then ask That's... you want Scooby Doo, you want whatever. But um, getting back to what we were talking about the superhero thing, it's like. The Marvel Infinity War is going to be completely different than what the comics were because there were lots of different characters that battled with Thanos and then the next arc uh, with Marvel, the Secret Invasion, you had a lot of uh, characters that battled different characters um, then that are going to be trade in the movie. Just like Ultron in the comics was created by Ant-Man, mm -hmm. uh, in the movie's universe it was created by Tony Stark. Yeah, that's a tremendous difference. Oh yeah. So, I mean, they're going to use the characters that they have on hand. So, uh, same rules apply here. We're going to light the different ones that uh, are further back because the other places there were just not working out. I wonder if they did. Well, easy. I wonder if they were not planning on making an Ant Man movie when they made Ultron be made by Tony Stark, and then like they made Ant Man, and it's like they would have given that character much more meat. Like if the original Ant Man created Ultron, like that would have. But been they like, have the original Ant Man oh. in the Ant Man movies. He's really old. Yeah, I know. So I wish that they had had him make Ultron. I think that would have been more interesting because Tony Stark already creates everything. They made Scott Lang the Ant-Man, though. Hank Pym is too old. And he, he's played by, like, a really great actor. Like, the Ant-Man movies are really interesting. Yeah, I thought that guy uh, looked really familiar, the actor, but I can't remember his name. Okay, now things are gonna get... Oh, out of my way, Bracken. Things are gonna get a little tricky now. I hope whoever we had... Uh... Something... Probably uh, is alright. Is alright. No! Go away! Go away! You leave her alone! Hide! Quickly! Oh, alright! Or maybe I should be a little mouse. Hi, Pipsy. Mmm, here it comes. Rolling the hooded dude. <gasps> Ooh, that was a cool oh, picture. It's like a weird Pokemon. It's our boss. Queen, Queen of, of the Dawn. Sorry, you said it better. That's fine. Good luck, everyone. All right, let's do this. Now, when I fought her on my other save file, uh, I was much stronger, so this might take a little bit. Okay. She's like a level 55, and Roland is a 56. 
I just don't know how we went from, like, oh, I don't know how this giant flower appeared. I guess she's a flower person. She's the boss. It doesn't really need to matter. Also, uh, people are probably like, how in the world did your magic get improved so much? I went into Castle Evermore, and I went to the spell place, and I upgraded all of our spells to a level 10. Ooh. So even though my character's only a level 55, 56, the spells that we're using are much stronger than the spells that you saw in previous videos. Nice. So, I mean, as long as you have the money and uh, you've collected the right amount of items, and I've fought over 5,000 enemies in this game, so I have lots of materials. It's always out. Good to go into your town and upgrade your stuff. The only thing I haven't done is really mess with the weapon stuff because, like, I'm just going with uh, picking up different weapons to increase my strength that way yeah. instead of trying to build weapons and stuff like that. Yeah, this character is really cool looking, though. She's a fun boss, but uh, actually, based on increasing the spell power, uh, I'm doing just about as much damage as I did to her when I was, like, a level 70. So, oh, wow. Yeah. That spell boost is really helping a lot. And my characters are still alive, too. So that's a good tip. So boost your spell power to level 10, and it improves your everything a lot. Seems to, yeah. Oh, wow. Improves your firepower a lot. Wait, that was only five minutes. Whoa. Whoa. Spell power for the win. Yeah, she's a tiny Thank cat. Thank you. Thank you. You saved my life. I thought I was going to be... <laughs> no pants, Brad. But... <laughs> They told me it was too dangerous to go wandering around the sewer on my own, but I wouldn't listen, and look what happened. Never mind that. What's important is that you're not hurt. That is what's most important. Hey, what are you doing down here anyway? We're on our way to the slum, where all the Grimmel can live. Hmm. Really? But... Why would anyone want to visit a place like that? Oh, I thought she was a mouse. She's a cat. Oh, well. Well, if you're serious, you'll have to come and see me when you're there. I need to give you something to say thank you for bye saving bye. me. I'm Moglet, by the way. Bye-bye for now. <laughs> it's so cute. But, but... But wait! <sighs> She's gone. I hope she'll be all right on her own. Well, we just took care of the boss. I doubt it would mess with the cats now. Yep. Okay, so... Kitties! We have to save the cats. Yeah, we have to save the kitties. That's why Shadow is watching, because she something's in it for her. She's always on videos that have cats in them. Yep, she likes Monster Hunter, but Monster Hunter World I need to do another stream of before I uh, continue the series with you. Because I still haven't found all the pieces I need to fight that monster. I need to do some streams of Monster Hunter stories to get my armor up. <laughs> so, here we are, the slum. Ah, uh, they uh, crammed all the cat folk in a little place like this. By crikey. Is it even possible? Flippin' it. And it's all musty and damp! Because of the sewers as well, makes the old Sky Pirate Bay seem like paradise! You no, know, the Skyrim pirate base is kind of cool. Well, shall we chat to a few people and see what we can find out? You may as well, although it's that time again, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Grimalkin base, and uh, when we come back tomorrow, we'll be talking to all these people and find out what life was like living in Ding Dong Dell before Evan became king. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless and happy gaming. See ya!